you ever wondered, people in the military, don't they get like free housing? So, we're going to talk about something today called the VA Home Loan. It's a veteran affairs backed home loan, right? So, um, if you're a veteran <clears throat> or active duty, um, you need to have some requirements in order to get this home loan, right? So, what's so special about this VA Home Loan? We're going to talk about that. Oh, my name is Savalas Williams. This is TV Savalas. Once again, welcome to the family. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button for me. Thank you. That's going to help push this video so other people who are in the military circle um, can get this video and be able to watch it, right? Also, be sure to share it with somebody. Put it in their messages. You know, tag them in it. Um, <clears throat> so, if you're not familiar with me and my story, um, I was in the military, the Navy, for four years, the USS Abraham Lincoln, CVN 72, the stinking Lincoln, right? Anyway, um, I bought my first property in 2013 with a VA back loan, VA guarantee loan, right? Man, it's so powerful, this uh, program for veterans and uh, active duty military. Now, qualifications in order to get this, uh, this home loan, right? You need to be active duty serving for at least 90 days straight in time of war, which is like all the time for um, the US, right? <clears throat> or at least 180 consecutive days um, if it's not a time of war. So basically, um, that's what the uh, requirements are as far as you even applying, right? So you need to write down these websites or uh, make a note of these websites and let your people know who are looking to buy a home using the VA loan. <clears throat> as long as they serve, like I said, at least 90 days of active duty, they qualify. Um, also, the as far as credit scores, that's going to vary from lender to lender. Credit scores is not that big of an issue when it comes to VA loan, but it still needs to be in a decent place. That's something that you have to talk about with the lender that you choose to go with. It may be a credit union, it may be a bank, it may be an outside third party lender or something to that nature, right? That's up to you. But anyway, um, you're gonna need something called a certification of eligibility, COE. You can find a COE, just for all, if you're, if you're military, past, present, you need to go on e-benefits. The letter E, the word benefits, I was dot com, I believe, right? Ebenefits.com. I don't think it's gov. Go on ebenefits.com. If you haven't created a profile, I don't know why you haven't. You should have did that months ago, but everybody in different situations. They don't have the knowledge. That's why I'm here to kind of help with this particular part, right? So <clears throat> go on ebenefits and you you don't necessarily apply, but you check to see if you are eligible. Um for your COE. So if you have had 90 consecutive days of active duty, guess what? Your COE should be there, right? You should qualify. Um, <clears throat> once you have proof of on your COE, so your certification of eligibility, what you're gonna find is something called entitlement. And it's gonna be a number, right? It's gonna say entitlement number, let's just say 40,000. Understand a couple things with the VA loan. The VA, the Veteran Affairs Office or Administration, they don't loan you the money. What the VA does is they're more like an a, a insurance policy to the lender stating that if this veteran forecloses or defaults on this property, we'll still pay the lender up to this amount, which is the amount of the entitlement money, right? So going back to the little example, let's say the entitlement says $40,000. That, that means that, hey... Um, at least the lender knows if this veteran or this um, active duty military individual that can't pay their mortgage or whatever the case may be, then they're going to get at least 40000 out of it, right? Um, I'm going to talk about this in another video, but um, you can use your VA loan twice, right? Um, at the same time, let me say that. You can, use, you can have two VA loans out at the same time. I'm not going to go too deep into that. I'm going to save that for another video. And remember, every Saturday and Sunday, 5 a.m.
Pacific Standard Time, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'll post new videos. Every weekend, early in the morning, you will get a new video, right? Uh, <clears throat> so those other videos about uh, having two VA loans at the same time, they're gonna come later. But know that that's an option, but there's some things that you have to do in order to get that. So um, anyway, back to the uh, the regular using your one VA loan, right? Or, quali or <clears throat> excuse me, qualifying for it or getting it. So you got your COE, um, you, you you got the time served, your credit is looking good for whatever lender you're going to. And there's a couple options you have. You can go directly to a, uh, a real estate agent and, and ask them to work with you, right? On um, helping you get what's called pre-qualified, um, where they're gonna ask you for your background stuff. You're gonna need uh, W-2s, right? Or proof of income. You're gonna need your social security card. You're gonna need uh, pay stubs. All your regular stuff that you think that you would need for doing business transactions, you're gonna need those things, right? Um, just to give you a quick example of um, when we bought um, our first house. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> um, we, you have to put down, you have to have what's called a, um, a earnest money deposit, right? Um, so, you're gonna have to have that. That just tells the seller that you're serious about buying the property. Um, and that can vary, right? So when we bought our first property, it was uh, $500. So I had to have at least $500 earnest money deposit to put down, which I did, boom. And I had to have at least $750 in the bank. Now this was back in 2013. Those numbers might not be the same for you. You might, uh, and the property that we bought was only $83,000, right? Um, I was sharing a story with my brother-in-law the other day, like when we bought the first um, house that, you know, I was um, we, like, we don't have conversations growing up and even um, in young adulthood or from our parents or whoever, our guardians about like these kind of financial uh, situations or um, events, right? So I wasn't really prepared mentally to, um, apply for a loan a house loan right so when I was asked the, when I was asked the question like how much money um, you want to try to borrow I was nervous and shaking I was like uh and this is all like I'm on the, I'm on the internet and I'm thinking like uh, I'm just put a hundred thousand because I wasn't I was so ignorant to the fact of how I was going to get the money um, was it gonna just put it in my account or, or what like I had no clue and so um yeah so anyway um we got our first house it was eighty three thousand, um and we possibly could have got more but everybody's situation was different at that time i really didn't want to live in virginia um right now i'm in california again my wife and i and my family but we still own property in va but anyway that's a, another story for a different time um so a couple Another website you need to go to, right? If you're military related and you're thinking about buying a house or you want to know more information, VA.gov, right? VA.gov will help you um, figure out some eligibility things about applying for a loan. I'm on my laptop right here. Um, you go to VA.gov, you click search, you just type in um, VA home loan. I want to kind of do this with you guys. And the first one that pops up, VA home loan types, click that. And let's see, you go down to eligibility on the left side, click that. So remember, you need to have your COE. You, you, you have to get a copy of that and show that to um, your real estate agent. Let me see. So I did want to touch on a couple of things about this um, eligibility, right? So in order to be eligible, of course, you have to serve at least at least 90 days active duty. But also, if, um, no disrespect to anybody out there who say they're veterans, right? If you're active duty, you're pretty much good. I'm not sure about um, 
the reserves. That's what I'm not sure about. The reserve qualifications may change, but if you're out of the military, um, you may not have this benefit of using the VA loan. Everybody who says they're a veteran, not saying that they're not a veteran, they're still a veteran, but their discharge determines what benefits they still can um, qualify for. So, um, that's if you have a other than honorable discharge, bad conduct, or dishonorable. There's two ways, according to um, VA.gov, that you can uh, maybe try to fight your discharge um, status. And if you go down to what, what I just said and stroll down where it says eligibility, um, it says, uh, what should I do if I received an other than honorable bad conduct or dishonorable discharge? It's two things you could do. You can find out how to apply for a discharge upgrade, it's huge. And you can learn about the VA character of discharge review process. So I would suggest um, if you guys have other issues regarding your discharge and you still want to try to apply for a VA loan, go to those links on uh, VA.gov. I might be able to put those in the description below. Um, also, you get your COE, like I said, your certification of eligibility at ebenefits.com that's huge that's one thing that you need to have in order to uh do this process um i'm going down the website guys and that's that as far as um getting the va home loan that's like the basic basics of it right so uh, make sure that you active duty for at least uh, 90 days in the time of war which is basically all the time for us or um, at least 180 days um, go to ebenefits.com home loans should I go on it right here for you guys just to ebenefits I just was on it earlier ebenefits and this is where you can create your profile if you haven't already you go to where it says apply I'm on the first page of ebenefits right now you go to where it says apply. This is also eBenefits is a great site if you um, uh, want to claim disability and all these kind of things too. Pension, housing, education, maybe you want to do the GI Bill, uh, voc rehab, um, healthcare is on here, insurance, burial information, all that's here on eBenefits, guys. So um, if you're in the military related, right, you're active duty or maybe um, you're out, so on this one you can go to apply it's going to have all these different subjects go to housing and then you're going to have two um little avenues to go to you either go to um specially adapt adopted housing grant i think that's more for people who may have um let me see apply for financial help to make changes to your home based on your disability so like if uh veterans or uh people out there may have uh they need a house modification like a ramp or something like that they can do that there but then right next to that it says certification um, eligibility for home loan you click that and that's going to take you to the next page I, i'm not logged in right now but you log in you check it you see how much um uh entitlement money you have on there um like i said in my example maybe it's say forty thousand maybe it's say sixty thousand that entitlement money once again that's not the limit the loan limit that you can buy for a property that's just the from the VA guaranteeing to the lending company that they will pay the lending company at least this amount, right? And um, the actual limit for VA home loans, right? So how much money can I borrow up to? It's going to depend on your income, right? Number one. But uh, let's say you have a good income coming in. The it's four hundred and. Ooh, I think the loan limit was four hundred and like fifty thousand, something like that, right? In order, um, that was the oh here it is loan limits. I'm back on the um, other site. Went back when I did it in twenty thirteen. It was four seventeen. Here it is loan limits. So right now, um, 
the basic entitlement as your basic entitlement will guarantee to your lender that will pay up to at least 36,000 or 25 percent of your loan amount whichever is less uh, if you default on your loan so your loan limit would be 36 times 4 which is 144,000 that's basic entitlement then they have here uh, bonus entitlement you may want to buy a home that costs more than 144,000 it says uh, to help you do this we offer what's called a bonus or tier 2 entitlement to determine your bonus entitlement we'll look at the federal housing finance agency currently national conventional finance financing confirm the limit and your state's county loan limits will guarantee 25 percent of your loan amount based on these limits if you have any questions they have the number down here you can call um that's the that's the um entitlement uh loan amount guarantee that's not the loan amount that you could uh buy a property for so um basically let me see what's the actual loan number view loan limits let's see 2019 pull this up ah here we go so just to give you a quick example loan limit oh another thing about the va loan right this is huge actually i should have put this in the beginning um you don't have to buy a single family home you can get a duplex you can get a triplex you can get a fourplex if i could go back all over again i would get a fourplex right or at least a duplex um that's just me so keep that in mind uh people out there in the uh, military world right so here we go for alabama this is a place lb alabama it says one unit limit is uh four hundred and eighty four thousand um, dollars California I think it's a lot higher but California has other standards too. Alaska seven hundred and twenty six thousand dollars that's the loan that's for one unit and then you get into two units which is a duplex it goes higher and then you get into a three unit and then four unit it goes even higher the limits but once again you have to uh, still have a decent amount of credit depending on the lender right so that's real real important some people use navy federal they're great you know that's where i got my first loan through um navy federal um i don't know what their requirements are right now but that's something that you have to look up california um seven hundred and twenty six thousand but that's not the bay area in the bay i know it's more than that gotta be san francisco seven hundred and twenty six thousand okay so there you go people that's just a little example um, like I said once again don't forget like when you're using the VA loan you don't have to get a single family you don't have to get a condo you can get a multi-family unit right duplex triplex fourplex and we're going to get into other strategies about that in future videos but anyway that's the basics to um, get in the VA loan so be sure to go to VA.gov check it out go to ebenefits.com uh, that's huge right that's where you find your certification of eligibility at and uh start you know networking in your community or where you want to buy a property at and remember for a va home loan it has to be owner occupied right so that means you have to at least live in that property there's no set time limit or a time frame where you, to whereas you have to live in it for three months or you have to live in it for one month or you have to live in it for six months there's no real time limit or uh, there's no uh, law. Let me say that. There's no law of how long you can live in a property before you move out uh, with the VA loan. And that opens up all kind of other doors for people, right? Um, so if you buy it at the right price, you'll be able to do a lot of great things. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, once again, please subscribe. Please hit the thumbs up button. Share this with somebody who may need it. And um in the future look out for the video where we talk about how to use two va two va loans at the same time simultaneously i did it before i had two properties with the va loan but the first property has to be almost dirt cheap right but um there was one more thing i wanted to tell you guys before i got up out of here um oh 
there's an unlimited amount of times you can use a VA loan. So let's just say you find your property, you buy it, you um, you, you get your money right, you end up paying it off before the 30 years up, is up, right? You can go get another VA loan right after that. You pay it off, you get another VA loan right after that. As long as you pay off the loan, your current loan, you can get another one. But also, if you have entitlement left, um, you can also use the VA loan again, right? And that's a whole bunch of other strategies. You know, I love real estate. You know, my education background is real estate, you know. Um, so I'm really passionate about this kind of thing. But anyway, uh, share this information with your veterans who may be looking into getting a house. Um, share this with active duty people who maybe just got in the military. You know, if they're fresh in boot camp, and just remember, just 90 days, that's all they need. You know, if everything else is pretty much straight or in the process of being good, all you need is 90 days um, to be eligible. And that's pretty much it, guys. Tune in Saturday and Sunday early in the morning to check out more videos. And in the description below, if you want to invest in stocks, go ahead and invest in stocks. Matter of fact, you can use uh, my referral link that's in the description below. You get a free stock, I get a free stock through the brokerage of Robin Hood. Yo, check that out. Until next time, one love.